Hi everybody, Alex Deploy from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at secret two of ways to trade grit trading safely with much lower risk. Now in video one we looked at currency selection as being number one factor to reduce risk when trading the grit trading system. So in this video, we're going to be looking at pruning as a major factor to reduce risk. Now, if you're watching this video, please make sure that you've watched these three videos that are shown on the screen. And in this instructional video, I'm going to show you five ways to prune your open trades for the grid trend multiplier. Now, the first question is why prune? And for those who don't know, pruning is the process of closing selected open deals in order to manage risk. So you might have 20 open deals. Pruning is selecting the, the, the deals to close to reduce your risk in the best way. So why would you want to prune? Firstly, uh, in these days leverage is becoming a very valuable commodity and uh, it will reduce your margin requirements. Uh, it will also obviously reduce your carrying loss. Uh, it won't affect equity, your equity number, because uh, equity already includes open trade so it's actually quite a good thing to prune regularly it also allows you to take a break from the current strategy so in other words you can re you re reduce your exposure to your current strategy and it is a good risk control me uh, method okay so we're going to look at the five methods that are currently available in the grid trend multiplier uh, there's the closure at a profit level and what you can do there is you can actually specify a dollar profit or a percentage gain or start of the trading or you could specify pips so if you've made let's say 200 pips you say please close the grid and I'll start again or I'll reconsider my strategy there so that's number one pruning method the other pruning method is if you want to close the grid at a specific price level so here yeah, you can specify the price at which the EA will close all deals either above a certain price or below a certain price and then we have the optimum restart method and I'll go into that one in a little bit more detail we also have the maximum gap between buy and sell method and I'll show you that one in a little bit more detail then we have the hedged pair closing method okay so let's take a look at the last three in a little bit more detail now it has been found that when the price is in the middle of what i would call a carpet when there's the equal number of buys and equal number of sales and the losses that these carry are more or less the same like for in this example you've got five buys above the price let's say the price is in the middle there and you've got five sales below the price uh, and the buy loss is 500 let's say and the sell loss is 500 if you use this setting it will just close all the deals and you can tell it in the setting what the minimum number of open deals should be so uh, that's one way of pruning open trades the other way is using the gap method so what you would what we would say is oh hang on here's 10 buys and one sell so the gap between the number of open buys and the number of open sells is nine so if you set that for instance to 10 what the ea will do and let's have a look when it moves on to 10 so suddenly there are 11 uh, buys and one sell the gap is now 10 what it will do it uh, will close in most cases the highest loss one so it will just close that particular deal so it will prune it so you'll be back to 10 1 and 9 and your gap can be 9 so a lot of traders like using this too as a pruning method and then there's another method that uses hedged pairs so in other words they say that there must be a matching buy for every open sell and as you can see in the settings we've nominated five so if there are five matching hedged pairs then the ea will start pruning the open trades by closing the buy and the sell furthest from the current price example of this year we're starting with four buys and five sells so we really only have four 
pairs going at the moment. The setting is five, so we're okay. <coughs> then it moves on, and then suddenly there are five buys and six sells. So immediately you can see you can actually match up five buys and five sells. So there are five pairs that can be matched up. And then what the EA will do is say, okay, I, uh, five is the maximum, so I've got to re reduce it. And it will then close one of the five there and one of the six there so that the hedge pairs return to four. Just another way of pruning. Now, if you need more detail about these methods, please, the first area to go to is the user manual as shown in your screen. You can download it from the EA Factory website. If you still have problems, email EA Factory with any questions that you might have. Now, there is no right or wrong setting here. So it varies from trader to trader. Some use method one, some, met some use method four. It just depends on what your personal goals are and how you personally would like to manage risk. So we've given you five options on how you can manage risk. I hope you've learned a little bit about how you can manage open trades when using the grid trend multiplier. From me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.